Let us consider this unit circle. In a previous lesson, we have seen that if we consider a point P on the circle, forming an angle of theta with a positive x axis, then the coordinates of P would be cosine theta for its abscissa and sine theta for its ordinate. Now let's consider a point Q on the circle confounding with P at an angle of theta. If Q makes a full turn around the circle, its angle would increase to theta plus two pi as two pi radians equivalent to 360 degrees. However, we notice that Q went back to P. Same point implies same coordinates. Then theta and theta plus two pi would have the same sine and cosine ratios. Now, if Q makes another full turn around the circle, thus increasing its angle to theta plus four pi, then theta and theta plus four pi would have the same sine and cosine ratios again. Notice that if the two full turns are done in the negative sense, giving an angle of theta minus four pi, Q still confounds with P, leading to theta and theta minus four pi having the same sine and cosine ratios. So for any number k of full turns made by Q in the positive or in the negative sense, the angle form being theta plus 2k pi would lead theta and theta plus 2k pi to have the same sine and cosine ratios. Theta and theta plus 2 pi are not the same angles, but they have the same sine and cosine as they differ by a certain number of full turns. We say that sine and cosine have a period of 2 pi or 360 degrees. Now, considering an example in degrees as this unit of measurement you'd better relate to, we know that cosine 60 degrees is half. Now, cosine of 420 degrees would then also be equal to half as 60 degrees and 420 degrees differ by 360. 60 plus 360 degrees is 420 degrees, thus they have the same cosine ratio. As well, cosine of negative 300 degrees is also equal to half, as 60 degrees minus 360 degrees is equal to negative 300. However, cosine of 100 degrees is not half, as 100 degrees and 60 degrees do not differ by 360 degrees. So now that we have an idea about period of sine and cosine, now what about the period of the tan ratio? In the previous lesson, we've seen that the tangent to the unit circle at the point one zero is the tan axis. And extending OP to intersect the tan axis gives us tan theta. Notice in this case that it only takes Q half a turn to go back to the same point on the tan axis, leading to an angle of theta plus pi as 180 degrees is equivalent to pi radiant. And another half a turn brings Q back to P, yielding the same value of tan. Then for the tan ratio, only multiples of half turns are needed to add to theta to obtain the same tan value. Then, tan theta is equal to tan of theta plus k pi, then tan has a period of pi. Now wrapping up, what would you conclude about the period of the cotan ratio?